the record itself is for people that are those quiet voices that haven't had the recognition that they deserve. I'm Supernova and I'm here with Hannah Pill. You just found out that your album, Fur Wave, has been shortlisted for the 2021 Hyundai Mercury Prize. What does that um, accolade mean to you? It's, uh, I mean, it's amazing. It's a dream come true. And, um, you know, I guess it's a record that is, was just a tiny little record in terms of like it was a self-release, it was self-produced, it went out in March and it was supported so brilliantly by everybody and um, you know it kind of is a retrospective album, it kind of um, blends the pioneers of electronic music like Delia Derbyshire and the Radiophonic Workshop and takes it into a new realm so it is, I am absolutely blown away that it has uh, been recognised by the panel and everybody else. Delia Derbyshire, for those that don't know, who is she and what does she mean to you? She was an electronic, um, she started out as an engineer, uh, she worked for the Radiophonic Workshop for the BBC, um, people will know her as working on the Doctor Who theme, um, but she was an incredible producer and composer and artist. The record that this fur wave has been taken from is like a 1972 library record called Electrosonic, and that has her all over it so I've just kind of sampled her and made that and the other members that are on it and made that into Fur Wave. Um, so yeah it's not a retrospective record it is something about you know breaking boundaries and hopefully inspiring new artists mm. to pick up instruments and produce and compose and put their music out there. Yeah it was celebrate her life I guess the future and you know your work as well, sort of interpreting. But there's parallels between you two, right? As well, do you think? Yeah, she's re she was really into visual art and film and creating things. And as an artist, I love to score and write for film and TV and dance shows. And I think that forms informs the records that I make. So they they have a multi visual kind of aspect. And and she had that. And what do you want people to feel when they're listening to the album? Because it's definitely got a journey to it. Yeah, it's, um, the album itself looks at the patterns in nature and how that relates to electronic music in particular. Um, and so a lot of the themes of the record are very ecological and, you know, fur wave in, in itself is based on the kind of pattern of fir trees on a mountainside that when waves of wind have hit them, the wave regeneration. So it's all about that kind of cyclical pattern and how nature is moving and constantly going round and that's you know even the artwork is inspired by uh, like a Japanese Enso design which is also about the unity of, of earth and music and art. I feel like that's the core of the message it is that sort of the, the journey of life and going back and being inspired by what has come before. Well I think you're really carrying the torch I think for the work that you do in releasing as an independent artist the work that you're doing in TV you're also breaking boundaries so thank you. Thank you.